Hello, welcome back to Banner Sushi Live Noding. In this episode, we're gonna do something uh, pretty simple, basically kind of like a improvisation. So, um, it's something to do with a uh, with the dual mesh. Uh, it's kind of like a the thing I'm interested in. Uh, it's kind of like a fake foreign but it's uh, kind of handy um, uh, sometimes. So let's say uh, I get give you a couple of example. Let's say we start with a grid and then we kind of uh, triangulate it using Blender modifier and applying it and then um, we are using we're gonna use the this add-on uh, tissue add-on. It's actually there is a one operation called dual mesh and this guy actually will turn a triangle anything that's triangle into some kind of a uh, hexagonal pattern is uh, they call it a dual mesh um, yeah I don't know exactly what it is but I think if I'm not wrong it's a uh, let me undo that and then kind of compare the one that's before and after so that's the dual mesh and this is the one that's before I'm gonna snap it and look at it uh, the wireframe you can see the dual mesh basically simply just like a kind of like a drawing up like uh, there's a points here and it's connecting the points and draw it based on the triangle hard to explain but you can compare this orange and yellow and you, you can you can google search about dual mesh uh, I'm kind of interested with that uh, pattern um, so I will do something with Suzanne actually or even better actually before I switch to Suzanne um, I'm not gonna use Suzanne yet. I can s put Suzanne over there and gonna triangulate Suzanne. Maybe actually we don't need to triangulate it. Um, this this guy over here, uh, tissue add-on, will actually generate the dual mesh anyway. It's gonna triangulate Suzanne and turn it into this hexagonal pattern. So yeah, we're gonna use Suzanne as, uh, later gonna save this real quick it's gonna be a uh, SV uh, dual mesh surprise or something um, we're gonna use um, spare chalk add-on and we're gonna generate um, like a random points so random vector and vector output we're gonna use a uh, Sorry, it's uh, supposed to be like viewer draw. So this random random vector is uh, just a bunch of points. Not so interesting. You can randomize further input vertices and get more scattered kind of points. Still not not what we want. We want to use the delay uh, triangulation so it is become like a triangle. But we need to flatten it first because this is a two D. So let's see. I wish actually there's a way to turn these points into some kind of mesh, which is uh, we actually have with um, and that's kind of work. Uh, there's I forgot what it's called. Set the bounding or something. I uh, forgot. It's something to do with rigid body. Oh, convex hull. Okay. Convex hull. There's a convex hull number two. Well, I actually never used this one. It's actually kind of new. I'll probably have a look at this at some point. So this guy can turn, uh, turn it into some kind of 3D object. You can bake this guy and then you need to use the tissue add-on I wish there's a way to I wish we have like a dual mesh node but for now we're gonna use tissue add-on and this gonna generate something that looks like uh, looks like Voronoi but it's not but it's still pretty useful to have that so yeah I think convex hull I never used this guy right here it's actually Kind of surprise. I I didn't didn't plan this actually. So this one seems to be generating convex hull as well. 
Uh, okay, this one generated 2D inside and outside. Pretty interesting. I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna use convex hull MK2 for now, and the 3D versions, so we can randomize the this uh, triangle, um, the random vector. Although really, what I, I'm doing is I want to do the the flat one for now. So rewire. Put this guy right here, scalar zero to z, so we have a flat triangle pattern, and we can use the line to draw our triangle. So this is kind of simplified the whole thing. It's just a flat triangle, and so yeah, the idea is the same. We're gonna um, bake this guy, and so we have we have, we have this flat triangle objects kind of random and we want to turn this into a dual mesh using tissue add-on so again we need to have tissue add-on so we have something that looks like a Voronoi but the pattern is a little bit interesting as well it's not exactly Voronoi but it's flat just like the in Suzanne you can easily create this uh, this kind of shape Okay, so let's get back to this guy. Um, the idea is really um, to continue working. So after we bake this triangle, convert it into dual mesh, we want to bring it back into spreadshop. Objects in. Turn off this guy and get our dual mesh. And let's use the offset. It's gonna be kind of interesting here. I actually found this um, kind of pattern looking objects by accident. So there you go. This is the pattern that I was uh, I was gonna show you. This thing will work with whatever dual mesh you pipe in, including this uh, 3D Suzanne. So if I let me get rid of the rigid body. So select Suzanne and get selection Suzanne and we get this very interesting looking Suzanne. Reduce the offset, maybe small value. Something like that. So you can see what it's uh it's doing. And What's interesting is that you can also use the, the in poly. So out poly and in poly. Let's get back to this guy. Get selection. So this is the out poly. You can use the inset, the in poly, and you get this pattern. This pattern is really beautiful um, and kind of unusual. It looks very organic. So I just wish that we have we really have the, the dual mesh as a node. Uh, it's gonna be really handy. But this is a uh, kind of the whole process here. So triangle, we have still have the triangle, and let's bake the triangle and look at the wireframe. So random triangle, dual mesh using tissue add-on, and in SpreadShop we're gonna get this uh, in poly. It's actually pretty pretty clean mess as well except that we have like weird uh, points here and there I think we need to clean it up if you want uh, let's delete loose pipe it in so I'll bake it again hide the triangulations bake this guy so this one is a bit more clean there's still some funky thing happening there don't worry and and there's one more operation if I do this and then kind of use a smoothing I try this and we get a very interesting uh, result oh actually just smooth doesn't give you much of anything but if you use like subdivision here and then put it up there you get this this really weird pattern I don't know Maybe it is uh, like, maybe it is a bug, or I wasn't kind of expecting 
it to create this kind of pattern but it does so I think it's pretty interesting so you can even do the opposite and get this kind of a uh, balding try smoothing or maybe other um, smooth Laplacian smooth couple of time uh, yes that did this thing a little bit not so good uh, the smoothing give a more interesting kind of result I found maybe not too high so yeah you can keep going and go to wireframe and get a weird result like that I'm gonna actually copy that so again maybe I, I don't need to use wireframe here just get this pattern so there you go that's a kind of a, the dual mess explorations we can do the same thing with Suzanne um, so if I really want I'm gonna what is that increase pencil okay save this save this again and Suzanne gonna load it select Suzanne get Suzanne this will do the job create this kind of a result and then you kind of use a displacement um, subdivision and then you use a smoothing a couple of times and you should get that kind of a strange result there for Suzanne so yes so that's the whole idea basically this is what I want to show you the I think I am I actually get a, a cleaner design at some points uh, not like this but the same process anyhow Suzanne can go now and back to this guy oh I just keep this uh, gonna bake this and gonna dual mesh it and get selection okay that's the result I'm gonna save this go to the top view and this is for the preview some kind of a very interesting design there a little bit abstract but uh, if you like um, it's something that's starting from triangle like the Lionel triangle and then convert it into dual mesh using tissue add-on and then we can use a spare chop to do this and then a blender smoothing to get this final intricate design so yeah that's the whole thing um, hopefully you find this uh, interesting uh, let me know what you think and I'll see you in the next video thank you bye